Hello again. So today just wanted to share about an update. Um, so yesterday I tried, I've tried to combine um, the few slides, few images of uh, histopathological slides. But today I'm going to um, play around and uh, combine a few. Um, um, a few uh, cytological slides. So this one I take it from uh, Pap smear uh, of a regular uh, Pap smear from a regular uh, Pap smear screen um, cases case. So total the, the the total number of um, images that are available is around eighty eight image. So. I combine um, all of these images into one big image like so so these are the image and uh, it maps my uh, in which field that I uh, take the picture so this is the, the, the result of combining of 88 um, images uh, cytological images of a pap smear so like yesterday we can zoom in and zoom out so this is the most um, the biggest zoom uh, that I can go for these images okay okay we go at this area first so you can uh, can see that we can scroll the image uh, um, easily so here you can see you have to wait a little bit so you can see a, a image a bit blurry and also pixelated so this is uh, due to uh, processing of uh, the image and the quality of the camera so again I'm using uh, um, again uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 which uh, um, was launched a few years back so it's not the latest uh, smartphones camera but uh, it's just a decent camera at this time being so there's a lot of another uh, smartphone that has uh, more much more uh, uh, good or excellent camera quality but so currently but currently I'm just using um, the old um, uh, smartphone smartphone just to demonstrate that even though you have a, an old smartphone with, with a good with a decent camera that you can still make this kind of photo so you can see these are just um, uh, I say metaplastic cells from the um, endocervical cells you can see the nucleus is still round you can see there's a nucleoli at the center there so uh, nucleoli of the glandular epithelium is usually uh, has this uh, nucleoli at the center sometimes it has two or three nuclei it depends on the reactivity of the epithelial cells and this is one um, one uh, squamous epithelium with clear uh, cytoplasm so we can see more clearly so this one squamous epithelium you can see the, the cytoplasm so this is the cell membrane oh, sorry this is the cell membrane of it this is the nucleus so between the cell membrane here here till the nuclear membrane here all of these are the cytoplasm and you can see the cytoplasm is a bit clearing here it's a bit clear a bit whitish in color similar as the background here so most probably this is going has uh, undergone glycogenated uh, kind of uh, uh, epithelium so you can you can see this kind of uh, cells in uh, um, I say in uh, reactive cases where there's some reactive changes or reactions towards it so you become glycogenated and clear and has a clear cytoplasm like so so it is clear because um, during processing all of the glycogen seeps out and uh, left the cytoplasm empty and appear a bit clearing like that so this is another cell the pinkish here the pink cells here uh, I'm gonna say that these cells might be rising at uh, least at the superficial up to the um, 
intermediate layer of uh, squamous so it bit, appear a bit pinkish in color and the nucleus is a bit smaller if you compare to the these um, cells over here so this is uh, the nucleus is a bit smaller so usually this kind of size in the intermediate kind uh, layer uh, in the middle layer of the squamous stratified squamous epithelium the cervix so it's the nucleus is a bit bigger so this one be towards the superficial part so the nucleus is a bit smaller so you can scroll in uh, easily and see all of the nuclear details and cellular details of it so yep again as I stress uh, uh, your schools or your center might not uh, have the capability or the budget needed to uh, to buy a slide scanner for you for you to facilitate your ed uh, teaching and learning so you have to uh, innovate and try to use whatever we have um, to come up with it so again this one is another glycogenated kind of cells you can see this is the nucleus and uh, this is all the cell membrane and between the cell membrane and the nuclear membrane is the cytoplasm again um, but you can see there's a rim of clearing like here so this clearing of uh, cytoplasm here is also formed by or due to glycogenated cells so you can see this one and for you for those who uh, would like to see some inflammatory cells or the white blood cells so this is one white blood cells this is another one this is another one this is another one so you can see clearly the, there's a three lobes nucleus here so what kind of cell this is is this is actually a neutrophils so neutrophils usually have a three lobes like this like this this sometimes it's v-shaped kind of nucleus like this one and it usually is appear to be smaller compared to the squamous cells yeah and it's the nature of it is it's a very small cells so you can see there's a lot of white blood cells here actually it's uh, neutrophils so neutrophils here 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 and this is usually uh, a normal findings in the pap smear because uh, uh, in a reproductive age groups of um, lady usually um, uh, who is uh, actually sexually active then there will be some wear and tear of the um, at this um, area so the cervix become wear and tear so you come there, there will be a lot of uh, neutrophils surrounding each uh, on the layer so but you, you can see that the, the, the image become pixelated a little bit or blurry a little bit because this is a big images so if you can if you want it to see the size of the images is around 150 times 59 mega megabytes so that's a, a little bit uh, big image uh, and if your computer is uh, um, has a good graphic card good ram uh, and good processing power then uh, I think most uh, probably this pixel letter become um, less evidence and um, it's become faster to become sharpened so you can see it takes some time for the image to become sharpened because this my computer is a bit old and it's cranky and has uh, a lot of problem there so again you see there's a groups of uh, squamous cells here you can see this in intro fields again these are glycogenated cells with a clear or whitish uh, cytoplasm there this one superficial um, squamous epithelium you can see the nucleus here is a bit smaller compared to the the rest of the nucleus uh, in the intermediate cells so all of these are the intermediate cells and some of it are um, metaplastic cell from the uh, endocervical glands as you can see still there is uh, some nucleolite there here if you see at uh, my pointer here it's still nucleolite there so the, the nucleus is a bit bigger compared to this one this one is a bit smaller so the, the smaller nucleus is the superficial kind of cells because why, why can it become smaller because the, as the squamous cell epithelium um, grows toward the superficial part so it tend to become mature and become cretinized and uh, the nucleus become a bit smaller and flatter so that's why if you compare this uh, 
super vicious cells here again or here to the intermediate cell like this one or this one the nucleus is a bit smaller and more hyperchromatic uh, this guys uh, more the more hyperchromatic of the nuclei of a squamous cell so it, it, it tends to show that the squamous cell become more mature compared to the bigger nucleus again uh, this one is um, another metaplastic uh, groups of metaplastic cells so you, you can see it's um, still uh, hold itself together because these are the, the nature of the glands uh, because metaplastic means it changes to from one uh, mature form of cells to another uh, form of mature cells in this case uh, it's, it transformed from the uh, glandular cells of the endocervical um, part to uh, squamous cells um, like in the in the ectocervical uh, part so you can see the nucleus is still holds it the the the, the nature the 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 origins of cells of it hold the the features of uh, glands uh, kind of a nucleus you can see there's a still few nuclei within it but the cytoplasm is a bit darker in color this is because it changes to it started to change from a uh, squamous as uh, from the glandular into the squamous cells so it start producing uh, some degree of uh, i say some degree of uh, creatine or changes changes in the um, materials or substance within its uh, cytoplasms so uh, again um, it's not um, trying to teach anything in this uh, video I just to, wanted to highlight that the uh, even though we we have uh, very limited resources we still can uh, try to innovate and try to come up with a good um, how do you say a good uh, material for students if you try your yes yeah try as high as possible so, so even though uh, the resources are very limited you can use whatever you have and uh, try to innovate and try to find out and how to um, learn how to create this kind of uh, materials that are important for you to teach your students so uh, by that um, thank you and uh, have a nice day